Solid state battery technology is extremely exciting and at least in theory, it promises to produce more energy dense, safer, faster charging and less expensive batteries as compared to traditional lithium ion batteries that we use today. However, I've been very skeptical of this technology in the past, much in part due to the fact that it's taking a long time to actually see these batteries being used in commercial products. However, I believe it's inevitable that eventually solid state batteries will overtake traditional lithium ion batteries when it comes to use in EVs. But how long is this going to take? I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. Old electronics used vacuum tubes and you may have seen these, you may have not. But when I was younger, my dad and I collected old radios that were equipped with these vacuum tubes. And if you're not familiar with vacuum tubes, they kind of look like a weirdly shaped light bulb. They light up, they get hot, and they were necessary for the circuits of tube radios, televisions, etc., electronic devices um, that were previously used. Those tubes have been replaced by much smaller transistors. And of course, transistors have improved over the years. But I believe there are some parallels from the switch from vacuum tubes to solid state transistors when it comes to the timing of that, that can help us gauge how long it will take for solid state batteries to replace traditional lithium ion batteries. So for example, when it comes to the history of transistors replacing vacuum tubes, in the early 1950s, geranium transistors began to be used, but they were expensive and would break down at higher temperatures. This first generation of transistor technology that was somewhat limited and expensive does remind me a lot of where we are right now today with solid state batteries, because there are solid state batteries being used in production buses but they have some pretty big limitations. French company Blue Solutions has developed LMP or lithium metal polymer solid state batteries that they supply to their sister company Blue Bus and to Daimler for Mercedes-Benz e Citaro buses. But although this is exciting that solid state batteries are actually being used in these commercial buses, they have some serious limitations that really make them not quite ready for the traditional automotive market. For example, in this Green Car Reports article, it's mentioned that these batteries have, quote, persnickety demands and that they require a special balancing procedure, quote, to ensure an optimum performance of the battery. In addition, this article mentions that these batteries must be maintained at a very high temperature, 80 degrees Celsius or around 176 degrees Fahrenheit. So suffice it to say, these batteries aren't ready for consumer vehicles. They are sort of ready for buses, but not quite ready for consumer vehicles. And I imagine these batteries are actually quite expensive as well. So in order for solid state batteries to be practical and commercially viable for use in electric vehicles, consumer electric vehicles, a lot of improvements need to be made. And companies are working on those improvements right now. But going back to our parallel of the transition from vacuum tubes to transistors, the next generation of transistors came out around 1954 with the invention of the silicon transistor. This silicon transistor technology led to less expensive and better performing transistors. And by the end of the 1960s, silicon based transistors dominated and vacuum tube use really was quite rare. The move from geranium based transistors to silicon based transistors really reminds me of the move from the current LMP um, solid state battery technology to um, a more automotive grade consumer automotive grade practical solid state battery technology that I believe we will see somewhat in the near future. And I'll talk about that shortly. This next generation of solid state batteries should have more normal temperature operating ranges, should be able to charge quickly and offer energy density gains over our current battery technology. But when will we see these solid state batteries actually in consumer vehicles? Well, VW, in partnership with QuantumScape, was initially aiming to use solid state batteries in vehicles in 2025. However, it no longer looks like that's going to be available because of delays in QuantumScape's battery development. And according to this Reuters article, VW could instead partner with Blue Solutions to provide solid state batteries for their vehicles in the future. And as far as I can tell, VW has not provided a new date as to when they expect to use solid state batteries in their vehicles. But if they do go with Blue Solutions, 
Blue Solution plans to build a gigafactory around 2029 to produce their solid state batteries for automotive, regular automotive use. So at the earliest, they would be able to use these batteries around the end of the decade at the beginning of the next decade. So 2029, 2030, and so on. Moving to Toyota, initially Toyota was targeting 2025 as well for solid state batteries used in their vehicles, but now they're officially targeting 2027 or 2028 before they hope to produce solid state batteries at scale and use them in vehicles. When it comes to Honda, they plan to use solid state batteries in the latter half of this decade. Beyond automotive companies, there are quite a few battery companies developing solid state technology. And I'm not going to mention every single one of them, but I do want to mention a few key ones. For example, once again, the French company Blue Solutions plans to build a gigafactory in 2029 to produce their automotive, consumer automotive grade batteries. LG Energy Solution plans to bring out a polymer based solid state battery in 2026 and a sulfide based battery in 2030. Battery company SK plans to commercialize a solid state battery by 2028. And also Samsung SDI plans to have mass production of solid state batteries in 2027. In addition to all the fully solid state batteries that are being developed, there are a number of other companies that are either producing right now or developing semi solid state batteries, which are kind of a halfway step to solid state batteries. So there is a lot going on in this technology, but when it comes to fully solid state batteries, we really aren't going to see these till really kind of the end of this decade. And realistically, it'll probably be like 2030 before we actually see these vehicles hit the road with really viable solid state batteries, consumer electric vehicles with solid state batteries. So if we assume that production consumer electric vehicles will be available starting in around 2029 or 2030, and we project out as to when solid state battery technology will really be the dominant technology in EVs. I believe it's going to take 10 years or so, maybe slightly more than 10 years for that to happen. And really this comes back to our parallel of the development of solid state transistors. Once again, the silicon transistor was invented in 1954. And after further development, silicon based transistors really started to take off around 1960. And by the end of the 1960s, this technology really dominated. So really with the introduction of these next gen transistors, it took roughly 10 years for them to completely dominate the market. And I believe the same will be for solid state batteries. And why it'll take so long comes down to the fact that initially solid state batteries will be more expensive than existing lithium ion batteries. Once they hit scale, they should be a little cheaper, but it's going to take a little bit for that to happen. In addition, it's going to take a while to build out the supply chains to build these batteries and to build the gigafactories to build them. But I project that by the time we get to around 2040, it'll be hard to find an electric vehicle without solid state batteries. That will be the predominant technology. So the move from traditional lithium ion battery use in EVs to solid state batteries is not going to be instant, but it's going to take some time. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Do you think that we'll actually see consumer electric vehicles equipped with solid state batteries by the end of this decade? And when do you think that solid state batteries will overtake traditional lithium ion batteries as the predominant technology used in electric vehicles? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.